yeah, we gotta move. Ballin' every city we go to. The brown experience. The brown experience. For you. The brown, yeah. All I need is a couple rounds, yeah. To get this party started. The brown experience. Oh, oh, oh. I need a couple rounds right now. Yeah, yeah. The, the brown right. experience. <laughs> the brown experience. Oh, oh. What's up, TBE? It's been a while, but now I'm back. All right, today is a very special day. Today is Valentine's Day, and uh, I'm making Valentine's Day dinner. So, it's going down. We're gonna have some lobster, some uh, shrimp, some penne, Fettuccine and some broccoli. That's what we gonna have. We're gonna have broccoli. Alright, so I'm gonna show you how we preparing this. TBE man, we here. Stay tuned. We still here. We're still trying to fix this uh channel here. There's a couple of things that's going on. Um we're gonna start doing independent films. That's one thing that we're gonna start doing. And um and we're still going to be doing the vlogging thing. So right now, like I said, today is a special day. We are doing, oh well, I'm preparing Valentine's Day dinner for my baby. And the kids, they're going to be able to get some too. So anyway, here we go. Stay tuned. It's going down. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how I cook. All right. It's going down. Watch out. What's up, TBE? We are back. We are back. All right. So, like I said, I'm cooking lobster. I'm preparing a lobster right now. So this is the lobster. All right. This is what we preparing. All right. So I got the lobster right here. Take this lobster out. Yeah. Look how big this lobster is. This is a huge lobster. Look at this tail. Ooh. It's a huge lobster tail. So now we're gonna cut it up. We're gonna cut this lobster up. Split it down the middle, open it up. Man, it's a huge lobster tail, baby. Pull this lobster out, look at this. Look at this lobster. Big piece of lobster meat, boy. Ooh. And we gonna wash this bad boy off. Wash this bad boy off. this put it right down here with this one all right so this is what it's gonna look like I'm gonna do them all take out the other rock tail cut that bad boy down Let's split it all the way down the middle, all the way down to the tail. All right, split it open. You wanna, I like to have a little split down the middle, so this way when I pour it down there, you know, when I pour the, uh, the seasoning, it gets down inside. So pull it out, Ooh, look at this bad boy. All right, these are, matter of fact, these are 12 ounces. These are 12 ounce lobster tails. Look how big that lobster tail is, boy. We're gonna have a feast tonight. Next, we're cooking the shrimp. All right, 
So now I got these medium shrimps. All right, I got these medium shrimp. So first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna get this, uh, I think this is the waist on the inside. I don't know if y'all can see that. You can see the waist. I wanna get that waist out. So what I normally do is I get my little paring knife or little knife, whatever it is, it's not a paring knife, but I get my knife and I cut that stuff out. All right, so I wash them. I wash them. Wash all my shrimp. One by one, I start getting that stuff out. Take it out. Get a nap. Take it out. Put it in here. Shrimp. Cut it out. All right, you guys, Ava's over there. She, she's doing what she does best. Absolutely nothing. All right, this is the balloons we got. Got a lot of balloons here. Ava got balloons, we got some flowers there. Uh, CJ got some Oreo cookies, cups, cakes, cookies, cake. Whatever they are, they Oreo, so he likes Oreo. And uh, this is the results from what's going on here so all our shrimp is done the shrimp is in here all right all right next we got to make the little sauce uh that we're gonna put on top of our lobster all right we're gonna baste our lobster with this little bit of recipe that i make i made up a little sauce that i make up and i base the lobster so that's what's next all right here we go let's get to that all right here we go so now we're gonna make the sauce or we're gonna make the uh the little butter topping or butter sauce that we put on top of the lobster all right so this is what i use i use a little bit of butter not a little bit i'll use a whole half a stick of butter actually this is like a whole stick of butter because i like a lot of butter i don't know about you guys but we love butter here. So I throw that butter right there. That butter. All this butter right here. Alright. After I put the butter in there, I throw a little bit of garlic. Salt. Just to give it a little flavor. Alright, a little bit of pepper. Give it that spice. And a little bit of basil leaf. I give a little bit of basil leaf. Let's see a little bit of basil leaf and the special recipe the secret recipe the old bay come on you can't have seafood without old bay gotta have the old bay old bay you gotta have all right here we go put a little bit of old bay on there bang all right i like to put a little extra old bay i like that old bay extra all right so after we do that all right take you with me i'll put it in the microwave all right Throw this bad boy in the microwave. You gotta put the splatter proof over it. You gotta put the splatter proof. You have to. Alright? Because if not, your, your microwave is gonna be messed up. Alright? So you gotta put the splatter proof over it. Alright? I put it in there for like a minute. Let's see how it come out after a minute. Alright? We'll be back. Oh man, look at them noodles. The noodles are cooking up. The noodles are cooking up. Alright, while the noodles are cooking up, we're gonna turn the oven on. Let's turn the oven on. Put it on 400. wrap it let that joint go so our sauce is done let's see what happens let's see what it looks like now 
be careful because this bad boy is hot too. Shoo! All right, look at that sauce. Sauce is looking good. Sauce is almost done. Bring the sauce over here. All right, there's your sauce. All right, y'all, here we go. So now we got the lobster right here, all right? I got my little basting brush right here, and we got the uh, we got the uh, base right here. We got the little sauce we gonna put on top, all right? So what I'm gonna do, this thing is hot, so I'm gonna put it down right here. I'm gonna take the sauce, and I'm just gonna base the tails. All right, base them tails. Base them, put a lot on it. I like to put a lot. All right, swish it around. Put a lot on the tail. All right, put a lot on that tail. Let that drink drip down. Let that drink drip down. Put it inside too. Put it inside the little uh, split that we made. You see the split? Remember we made the split? I like to put it down in that split. So this way, you know, it gets a lot of seasoning in the split. All right. So I base them all at least about two to three times, right? Make sure you get the seasoning everywhere. All right. This one, this one is too far over. There you go. Put right there. So this way, none of that seasoning fall out. Get all over the plate. All right. So now, after we baste it, what I do is I'll just pour some down in there on each one. Boom, boom, pour some of that seasoning. Pour that seasoning down on it. Yeah, baste that bad boy. Pour that seasoning, baste it. All right. So now we basted the uh, lobster tails. If you see them, look, got seasoning all over them. Seasoning good. All right, so next. We're gonna put them in the oven, but we're not gonna do it right now. We're trying to make everything uniform. These things don't take long to cook. They cook in like, shoo, like 20, 25 minutes. I leave it in there for like 20 minutes. And um, they should be cooked fully. Nice, big, bro broily lobster tails. All right, so next, we're gonna be doing uh, the sauce for the shrimp. All right, let's go. Here we go, sauce for the shrimp, it's coming. All right, so next, we're gonna put the shrimp inside the pan, all right? That's the next thing, we're gonna put the shrimp inside the pan. I wanna saute this shrimp real good, all right? Um, first, we gotta get some oil, let's get some oil. All right, we got the olive oil right here. Get some of this olive oil. Put a little bit of olive oil in it. All right, start this bad boy up, yeah. Ready to go, all right? Let it get around in there. All right, wait for this bad boy to warm up a little bit. And then we throw the shrimp right up in there. All right, so the noodles, noodles almost ready. They looking good. I like to try my noodles. All right, see if they ready. I know it's hot, people gonna be like, what are you doing, you gonna burn yourself, but I don't care. Yep. So noodles are ready. Alright, we're gonna take the noodles off and now we're gonna drain the noodles. Alright, next. This is where we put the shrimp in. All right, load your shrimp in. Watch out, got a little hot on me. Trying to bounce up on me. I'm gonna put all this shrimp in there. It's gonna take longer to cook, but it will cook. Mm -hmm. 
fit. So we're gonna take our spoon and drench it around a little bit. Alright. And we're gonna put our top back on. So next, now we wanna season the uh, shrimp up. You don't wanna season them too much because I'm making Alfredo. So I just wanna put a little bit of Obey seasoning, a little bit of Obey, a little bit of garlic seasoning, just to give it that flavor. A little bit of flavor inside the uh, fettuccine, fettuccine. And uh, oh yeah, secret sauce. All right, don't forget about this, that black, that uh, this, that magic seasoning blend, all right? This is for the, this is for the real seasoning, the real um, shrimp seasoning. This is good for like salmon, whatever. Just sprinkle some of that on there. Now we season the shrimp. Now we just gonna mix it up in there a little bit. Give it a little bit of seasoning. Putting the lobster in inside the oven. Here we go. Lobsters in the oven. Oh, something no! fell. Oh, One of the lobsters oh, fell down. You gotta pick them up. Motherfucker. Got a lobster in the oven for like 20 minutes and it's ready. All right, here we go, yo. Listen, it's been a change of plans. So what I'm gonna do is, instead of making shrimp Alfredo fettuccine, I'm just gonna make the pasta with the Alfredo sauce and the shrimp is gonna be separate. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna put a little bit of a, uh, little bit more seasoning in the uh, shrimp and I wanna put a little bit of uh, lemon juice in it just to give it that acidic taste, all right? Just a little bit of acidic taste. So um, I'm gonna do that right now. Let's go. All right, so here's the shrimp, here's the lemon sauce. Put a little bit of lemon in there, a little lemon juice. Put some lemon juice in there. Don't be scared to put that lemon up in there, all right? Don't be scared to put a little bit of that lemon juice up in there, all right? That's good. Mm. All right, next, we got the uh, shrimp is cooking. Ah, shrimp is looking good. All right, so now, we're gonna put a little bit of minced garlic. Some minced garlic in there. Yeah, don't be stingy with the garlic. You know it's gonna make your breath stink, but ain't nothing like the taste of garlic. All right, got that minced garlic and a whole half a stick of butter. Put that in there, push that around in here. Right, this is a, basically a garlic butter shrimp. All right, I'm gonna mix the butter up in there. Give it that buttery taste. All right, push it around in there. Got that uh, seasoning, all that seasoning in there. Up real good. Cover 
over it again. All right, next, we're gonna make the, uh, the Alfredo, all right? The fettuccine Alfredo sauce. So let's turn, let's turn this thing on, get it going. Start off by putting my butter in there, melt that butter. Put a little bit of uh, whipping cream, all right? Little heavy cream, all right? Throw that up in there. Make it enough for the noodles. There's a lot of noodles in there, so put enough in there for the noodles. All right. Push that around in there. Get that thing nice and hot. takes on that flavor boy there it is a little bit of garlic salt rub that bad boy around in there see it's getting creamy i might have to put some more whip some more uh whipped cream the whipping cream the heavy whipping cream i have to put some more heavy whip, whipping cream in it but yep go a little bit of whipping cream Too special. How is it? Thank you, Pop. Thank you. That's pretty good, yeah. Right, this is my taste test. I'm trying to understand it. This one little thing is doing better. What do you mean one little thing is for you, me? <laughs> what happened, chip table? Oh, your teeth? Try the butter. Oh! It's pretty good. Nice and crispy like I like it on the top. Nice and done on the inside. Pasta noodles. Mmm, that's good. Why you got a snack, though? A 
approved. All right, you guys, this is the added bonus. All right, we had a great dinner. Dinner's over. Um, everybody loved it. Lobster was good. This is the added bonus. So, for Christmas, my wife bought me this. Uh, it's like the Keurig of drinks. It's called a Bartisan or Bartisan. I don't know how to say it. Bartisan, Bartisan. I'm not sure. Y'all let me know. I'm not sure on what to say or how to say it. But this is what it looks like. I'm gonna turn the camera around. So this is what it looks like. And um, it's basically like a Keurig, but for drinks. So you take this out right here. These are your little drinks. So you got like Amaretto Sour, which I just got Amaretto Sour today. And I'm gonna try that one. Um, they got margarita. They got um, espresso martinis. They have, uh, what else we have here? Uptown Rocks or whatever. Uptown Rock. And um, basically, it's like a Keurig and Instead of you putting water in it, you put the alcohol. So these are the alcohol, and as you can see right here, that's whiskey right there. And over there is tequila. And on this side is vodka. And I think that's gin and rum. So you put the liquor in these little canisters here, and it makes the drink. So it's weird because once you lift this thing up, you put the little Keurig thing in there, you put your drink underneath because it does spill out so you press it down and when I first did it I was trying to figure out how does how do I pick like which alcohol you know goes to which but if you look right here there's a barcode that's on the top of this uh, if you can see it let me see how you can see it there's a barcode on the top and the machine recognizes the barcode and from there it knows what liquor to dispense so this one dispenses um uh so you gotta press it down all the way this one dispenses vodka so now you go here and say next right so next so uh right here is mocktail which mocktail is just uh just the liquor i mean the pod with no liquor then it's light then it's regular and it's strong so light is strong regular is super strong and strong you go in night night that's basically how that works so usually i do on light but i must try regular today all right i'm gonna try regular strong forget about it i had a uh a uh should i say i had a visitor and she came and she put it on strong not knowing and uh it didn't turn out good for her but she know who she is uh, shouts out to her though she took it like a champ though but uh yeah she she wasn't doing too good but anyway so now we're gonna press you I'm gonna put it on regular press mix and it starts to dispense your liquor you can see over here it's coming out of the vodka side and it mixes the drink so uh, this is gonna be my first time trying this one um like I said um see what it tastes like so i gotta put this up uh tanya and james my sis and bro bought me this this is going up here you know but uh i didn't get a chance to put it up yet because i wasn't sure where i was gonna put it but i'm gonna put it there so we gonna taste it so i'm gonna turn the camera back around and we're gonna taste it all right here we go now let's see what it tastes like and this is the amaretto sour Ah, all right, this one is good. This is one of my favorites so far. The Amaretto Sour is really good. And it's good on strong, on um, regular. Strong, it probably crazy, but regular, it's good. So anyway, this is my nightcap. Thank you guys for tuning in. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. <clears throat> we enjoyed, I'm enjoying my drink night's over we're gonna watch some movies for the rest of the night and um that's it get ready for all-star 
we are going to all star everybody we are going to indiana for all star so i see y'all in all star if, if you're going to be there if not you'll see what we're doing in all star so anyway happy valentine's day again y'all take care tbe we out thank you guys Experience for you.